Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be using a testnet using this decentralized derivatives trading protocol. Obviously, everything is on a testnet. So we're going to be trying out this exchange. And obviously, after we've done, we're going to send them a feedback. And in exactly about 28 days from now, the testnet will be over. So which means they will most likely be launching and will be sending us free airdrops. So if you want to follow along, just make sure that you come to derify.finance and obviously I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video or you can come to this URL over here. And the next thing that you'll need is your MetaMask and your MetaMask must be running on a testnet. So you must have a testnet. If you don't have a testnet already, just go to this page here where you can obviously go and request it. So basically just come to chainlist.org. When you're here, you want to connect your wallet. Then I'm going to go ahead and click next and then connect my wallet. So I'm just going to come here on top and basically um, look for Binance Smart Chain. And I want to include the testnet. So I'm going to toggle that on and then add to MetaMask. So now that should be added on your MetaMask. If you're struggling with that, this is what you should be doing. Just come to your MetaMask and add these details that I'm going to show them to you just now. So I'm going to come and expand this. When you're here, I'm going to go to settings so that I can share my settings with you and then go to networks. So this is going to be your network for running Binance Smart Chain on a testnet. So just make sure that you add this network on your MetaMask, then you should be good to go. So after you added the Binance Smart Chain on MetaMask, what you want to do is to come to the derivatives. Obviously, just come to this page here and click on exchange. And then the next thing that you want to do is to add faucets on your MetaMask. So I'm going to click on faucets. So basically here you'll be requesting faucets. The first thing that you need to do is to request your BUSD tokens and also get BNB tokens because BNB are going to be used for gas fees. As you can see here, I had one BNB and constantly whenever I'm trading, I'm using obviously this BNB for gas fees and the stable coin here, which is BUSD is going to be used for trading. So go ahead and just request that to request. Just click on this page. You put your Twitter handle over here and then over here you put your wallet address. And when you hit submit, that will actually uh, request for BUSD. And then to request for BNB, click on this page or click on that link. And then from here, you just come and put your wallet address like that. And then click on one BNB. Then you request that. You can see it's going to be sent to my wallet address. And this may actually take a few days. If you see maybe a week passes by without you receiving these assets, the BNB, you should be able to receive it, you know, almost instantly. And you can see here, maybe sometimes it will say it will take a day or so. Now, if you actually come to our wallet here, if you recall earlier on, we had 0.9 BNB. Now we have 1.9, which means when we actually requested our funds, they were sent to us within a minute or so. But when you actually request your stable coin, which is BUSD, which is obviously the coin that you will need in order for you to trade, as you can see here, you'll need to obviously come here and transfer your, your tokens. So what you will need to do is to come to your wallet and actually add that manually. As you can see here, I do have my stable coin, which is BUSD. But if you don't see it, in fact, by default, you won't be able to see it. So click on this add token here and I'm going to leave this address in the description of this video. So go ahead and copy that address and then come to your wallet over here and then click on add tokens. I'm just going to paste it here and you can see it's going to autofill everything for me and you can see BUSD and the token decimal is 18. So if I go ahead and click on add token, then it will actually show up here. So that is very handy, especially if you want to see if your tokens or your test tokens have reached your wallet. So once you got that sorted out, then you're ready to start trading on this protocol over here. And I'm just going to disconnect for now so that I can show you how to connect from scratch. So click on this connect icon here. You can see it requires you to have that Binance Smart Chain test net. So I'm going to click continue and everything is now connected. And you can see that I do have a trade that is open over here. And obviously I'm just testing this out. I'm not necessarily doing chart analysis and stuff like that. 
so basically what you need to do here is to come and select what assets you want to trade but as of recording this video only bitcoin and ethereum is available so what you want to do is to obviously let's say for example we want to trade uh, bitcoin or let's say for example you want to trade ethereum here so i'm going to come to the charts and if you believe that the assets is going to go up you can just come here and trade i'm going to trade this at the market order or maybe I can put a limit order and that's when I'm actually going to criticize this platform because it doesn't really enable me to you know zoom in to the chart and zoom out and sort of like do a um, chart analysis so I would like to see them implement something similar to this here and from here I can actually come and click on these icons here and zoom into the chart say for example I want to go and see the top I can just come here and you can see around $45 was the peak so that's the information that i'm looking for as a trader if i click on all you can see i can zoom within the chart but obviously everything here is still under development but uh maybe i'm gonna send this video to them so that they know exactly what they should be fixing and if i come to this chart you can see everything is basically just stagnant and i cannot zoom in and out which is what i'm looking for especially if you're a trader for example if i wanted to place a trade between 2600 and 2500 i have to sort of like eyeball it to assume that it's around here so let's assume that around 2550 or 2590 around here and i'm gonna put this on a limit price so it's gonna be 2590 At that price i want to buy for let's say thirty thousand dollars or let's say just keep it thirty thousand dollars then i'm gonna go long i'm gonna confirm that confirm that on your metamask and that's gonna sit on your limit orders because remember here we are on limit orders not the market order and we're gonna place a market order just for me to show you guys exactly what you need to do you can see everything was now successful so basically what you need to do is to try out this platform or oh, maybe i got carried away i forgot that we haven't deposited our funds to deposit the funds um you click on transfer then click on deposit obviously here i can just choose fifty thousand, for example or five thousand remember we're just depositing those fake tokens and i'm gonna go ahead and confirm this and you can see the market is just fluctuating up and down I was actually down i think hundred dollars now i'm up twenty dollars but obviously i'm just doing this on a test net i'm not necessarily doing any chart analysis so now that you actually deposited and transferred your funds you can obviously come and trade basically here you can trade on a limit order or a market order basically if i click on market order and i think the assets here is going to go up i can just go here and basically buy maybe let's say for two thousand obviously i'm running this on a 10x leverage and then I can obviously just go and go long. I'm going to be covering more details on this derivatives market, especially on the course that is coming up very, very soon. I'm still in the process of recording the course. It's really taking me a very long time. Remember, when you're actually putting together a course, you want to make sure that you teach um, all the information that you guys are looking for so i'm constantly improving those materials and once it's actually out and i believe by the end of next month the course should be up on the channel and you'll be able to learn how to trade on the derivatives market you can see this is the new order that we just created over over here obviously you can always come here and close all the orders but just take some time to actually come and play around with the orders and actually use the platform so that you can give them feedback because when you click on this page you'll be able to send them feedback with regards to your findings maybe there are bugs maybe there are things that are not working for example here i would like to see maybe here an icon that tells me hey here you can actually take profit or maybe edit this and you can come and for example set up your take profit or stop loss I'm just going to exit out of that or you can click ok and you can see there will be a new price here that will be a take profit if i go and confirm that so just make sure that you play around with this platform and place trades buy and sell and stuff like that so that you can obviously get a feel of the platform and then go and fill up your form so that you can obviously be eligible to get those airdrops and you can see now we actually just put our take profits over here 
which is gonna be roughly about thousand dollars but anyway uh that's the platform you can obviously come here to the rewards um just play around with the platform i think you have until the end of march so you still have the time to trade and stuff like that and then after you're happy with everything just click on send feedback and then you'll use this form to sort of like send your feedback and then put your wallet address so basically here you give them your telegram or your twitter or discord account um the next thing you have to come here and actually copy your wallet address just come and click here and then paste your wallet address over here and then report a bug or whatever the case may be maybe you have screenshot that you have taken and then go ahead and submit that and it's maybe the case that depending on how much you're trading your trading volume maybe your ad drops are going to be calculated by how many trades you actually placed on the platform as you can see all the trades that we actually placed just now are in profit even though we were not necessarily doing chart analysis or anything like that so basically that's how this platform works and you can find more information in the description of this video